Number 8. The Colbrin Bible In 1184, a strange Bible dating back to 3,600 years was found in Glastonbury Abbey. It's filled with forbidden knowledge that the church has tried to keep hidden for centuries. Inside, there are stories detailing unknown events of the past, some that predate current written history. Even more terrifying are the stories that warn us of chaos and destruction that is yet to come. Known as the Colbrin Bible, it's the first Judaic Christian text that combines biblical tales with modern history, including a baffling story of how advanced humans who first arrived on Earth before Adam and Eve survived the first catastrophes by hiding in shelters underground. One of the most fascinating things about the Colbrin Bible is that it also has texts from multiple cultures. Alongside the Christian texts, there is writing from Celtic mystics and ancient Egyptian scrolls that detail things that happened after the exodus from Egypt. But it's the connection to Jesus that is scholars most excited. As the story goes, Jesus' great uncle, Joseph of Arimathea, rescued the Egyptian scrolls from the Library of Alexandria before it was burned by Julius Caesar during his invasion of Egypt. Joseph was believed to have taken the scrolls to Britain, taking them to Glastonbury Abbey, where they stayed hidden for hundreds of years. Sadly, the abbey suffered another fire, but some think it might have been set as a way to get rid of the hidden texts once and for all. Luckily, because some of the manuscripts were carved into thin sheets of bronze and kept in copper-lined containers, they didn't burn, and eventually made their way into the Colbrin Bible. Whether or not the Colbrin Bible really is filled with secret knowledge, it seems that some have tried to erase the evidence contained in the manuscripts. Maybe one day, the truth about what lies inside the book will come out. Whether it will rewrite human history is just as much of a mystery as the book itself. Number 7. The Secrets of Mus Farm a discovery made at a Bronze Age settlement in the UK paints a picture of a thriving community. For 10 months, experts worked to uncover the Must Farm, a 3,000-year-old site in Cambridgeshire. When archaeologists started their work, they knew they had something special. As they continued to dig deeper, they unearthed five of the best-preserved Bronze Age dwellings ever found in Britain. The settlement was home to multiple circular wooden houses built on massive stilts sunk into the ground. Each one had a cone-shaped roof that was covered in turf, clay, and thatching. But the construction of these houses over a shallow river could be the very thing that led to their collapse. As researchers examined the remnants of the houses, they found that not long after they were built, the settlement experienced a devastating fire. Even though what was left of the houses was charred, the remnants were so well preserved that many of the household items were still in amazing shape, giving archaeologists a glimpse into how these ancient people lived. Everyday household items like wooden buckets, platters, cups, and bowls were found, some with food still inside them. Metal items including axes, hammers, knives, and spears were also uncovered, along with ornamental objects like beads and handmade textiles. They also found the remains of a wild boar, red deer, freshwater fish, wheat and barley grains, and young lambs and calves, indicating the late Bronze Age residents had a mixed diet that was rare for its time. But how could these priceless items still be in such good shape so long after they were buried in the river silt? The riverbed turned out to be the best environment for preservation, with its lack of air and layers of peat and silt protecting the items over time. Even now, researchers can tell that the people at the Must Farm use local plants like flax to weave their own textiles into fine linen and wild fibers to make coarse fabric. Another startling find at the site was the discovery of green and turquoise glass beads that researchers think were made in the Mediterranean Basin or the Middle East proving that these ancient people traded with other cultures. With so many unprecedented fields at one location, archaeologists continue to piece together their discoveries and form a remarkably clear picture of domestic life in the Bronze Age. Number 6. Ancient Italian Beads in America Could a set of rare Venetian glass beads be proof that Europeans were in North America decades before Christopher Columbus? Researchers at the University of Alaska Museum of the North think so. The state was part of an ancient trade route that spanned from the Bering Sea to the Arctic Ocean. If expert theory is true, 
it would prove that the Venetian glass beads found scattered across three different archaeological sites traveled some 10,000 miles from Italy at a time long before one of the world's most infamous navigators set out to America under the flag of Spain. Along with the beads, scientists also found metal bangle bracelets wrapped in plant-based twine. And when they tested the twine, they realized the plant was alive sometime during the 1400s, with the beads originally crafted between 1440 and 1480. Given the fact that Columbus ships didn't set sail for America until 1492, experts immediately asked themselves, how did the beads make it all the way across the ocean to Alaska? It all comes back to the Silk Road, an ancient trade route that linked China to the West and where they think the beads started their journey across the ocean to Alaska. Instead of going through Rome, like most shipments of silk, the beads likely went east, finding their way into the hands of a trader that researchers believe kayaked across the Bering Sea to Alaska. But their journey didn't end there. Items passed through an ancient trading center on the west coast called Shashlik before being carried either by foot or by sled dog to the Brooks Mountain Range, where they ended up, staying hidden for over five centuries before being uncovered by the research team. Number 5. Oldest Human Footprints To continue who was first to arrive in the Americas, a set of footprints on the shore of a dry lake bed has set off a firestorm of excitement in New Mexico with the idea that they could be the earliest footprints ever found in North America. An archaeologist working with New Mexico's White Sands National Park found the tracks in an area known as Akali Flat in 2009. Even though the tracks had long since hardened into the rock, there were large quantities of seeds embedded in the footprints that would be the key to determining just how old the prints really are. Radiocarbon dating on the seeds helped researchers pinpoint their age and the results were jaw-dropping. They'd been left behind between 22,800 and 21,130 years ago, thousands of years before experts thought humans arrived on the continent. At first, researchers thought they might be wrong about the dates. It was possible that old carbon from nearby rocks had leaked into the water and deposited into the seeds. So it took a little bit of sleuthing and more tests to solidify their findings. And when they did, they were stunned to realize the discovery meant humans settled in North America before or during the last ice age instead of after it, which was the previous theory. The stunning discovery would change the timeline of not only the human species, but the entire world. The original belief that the first prehistoric humans arrived in North America came from an ancient spear tip near Clovis, New Mexico. The Clovis theory revolved around the belief that around 13,000 years ago, the first people traveled across a land bridge that connected Siberia to Alaska. One of the really interesting things about the ancient footprints is that most of them belong to children and teenagers. They show that even in prehistoric times, these humans weren't only about hunting and gathering. They had social relationships like we do today. Thousands of footprints have been found at White Sands National Park, spread across 80,000 acres. Extinct animal tracks from mammoths, dire wolves, and giant sloths have also been uncovered, showing how humans and animals coexisted. But along with the newly discovered seed-filled footprints, other finds like a cave in Oregon, a site in coastal Chile, and another cave in central Mexico all had signs of early humans long before they were originally thought to have existed on the continent. It's clear that even though some of these theories have been held for so long, new discoveries continue to change the facts of when the first migrations to the Americas began. Hey, real quick. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for checking us out. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 4. Ancient Chinese Coins in Britain If these discoveries aren't enough evidence that a global medieval trade route existed, this next discovery of a 1,000-year-old Chinese coin might convince you. Originally, researchers at the British Museum thought a coin found by a metal detector in a Hampshire field was from someone's private collection. But when they took a closer look at it, they realized it was a lot like one found in another area of England a few years earlier, one that might be connected to trade in medieval times between China and the UK. 
The copper alloy Chinese coin dated to the Northern Song Dynasty, who held power between 1008 and 1016. When it was first discovered, researchers weren't totally convinced that it made it all the way to England by trade. Instead, they initially believed someone had lost it. It would have been more convincing if the coin had been found during excavations instead of being found with a metal detector. But its discovery in an area where other medieval and post-medieval materials have been found makes it a lot more likely that the two distant lands exchange goods sometime in the past. Historical records detail trips by Englishmen to the Mongol Empire and others show Mongol envoys visiting England in the 13th century. Other ancient Chinese artifacts, including the coin found in Cheshire, England in 2018, all add to the theory that a medieval trade route stretched further than previously thought. Who knows what other ancient Chinese artifacts are hidden and waiting to be discovered? Number 3. Hobbit Bones a recent discovery by German scientists could be evidence that the island of Sulawesi was home to ancient humans. Humans that were strikingly similar to ones found in J.R.R. Tolkien's famous novels. In an island chain between western Indonesia and Papua New Guinea known as Wallacea, the skeleton of a 17-year-old girl was found in a remote cave. And when scientists studied DNA extracted from her bones, they realized she was part of a previously unknown human lineage that had disappeared from the world. With no ties to any living descendants in Indonesia, researchers had to study her genome to figure out where or when she came from. But she did have something in common with a mysterious extinct species of archaic humans who lived around 50,000 years ago, making the discovery even more remarkable. Experts think she was part of a group of hunter-gatherers known as the Toalian people who lived in the area. But these weren't the first ancient humans discovered in Indonesia that surprised scientists. A group excavating a cave in 2003 found a tiny hominin that was no taller than 3 feet and 7 inches. Some scientists believe that the tiny ancient human was so short due to disease, only to realize this was an entirely new ancient human species that resembled the hobbits described in the Lord of the Rings books. As scientists continue to put the puzzle pieces of this ancient human together, they now see that multiple different types of hominids lived on Earth, interacting and interbreeding with one another. Which means there could be even more distinct lineages we haven't discovered yet. Truth really is stranger than fiction. Number 2. Child of Darkness Down a dark passageway in South Africa's Rising Star Cave system, the fragmented skull of a child who lived between 335,000 and 241,000 years ago could be the missing link between modern-day humans and our ancient ancestors. But the child, nicknamed Leti or Lost One in the Setswana language of South Africa, wasn't the only ancient human found in the remote cave. And now scientists are racing to figure out how the fossils got there. The remains of 24 Homo naledi individuals were first discovered in 2013 in the Dina Ledi chamber. But it's how they got there that is puzzling experts. The only way into the cave system is through a 39-foot narrow shaft known as the chute. And with no other entrances, the idea that Letty's skull was found shattered in pieces on a ledge almost 3 feet above the cave floor means she might have been brought down the chute to her final resting place. That's right, experts think the ancient humans whose skulls were no larger than an orange didn't actually throw the remains down the shaft. Somehow, they entered the maze-like cave system through the vertical chute, one that was only about 7 inches wide to place their dead inside. So what was so special about this cave that the ancient humans went through such a treacherous journey to bury their dead? With its narrow passages, irregular floors, and countless fissures and obstructions, it was an almost impossible journey for scientists to get inside the cave to retrieve the bones. Imagine the effort it would have taken for ancient humans to get Letty inside. With no other evidence of why the people of prehistoric South Africa chose this cave system as a burial chamber, experts continue to study Letty's remains along with the other individuals buried alongside her to uncover more about the burial rites of this ancient species. Number 1. Ancient Camel Carvings 
Until recently, researchers thought most cave art was found in France and Spain, with a few locations in England, Russia, and Indonesia. But that theory changed when a series of desert rock carvings were discovered in northwestern Saudi Arabia. The discovery was quite remarkable, with experts believing the carvings of camels were done about 2,000 years ago. But as they continued to study the reliefs, painstakingly analyzing the heavily eroded carvings, they realized they dated from 7,000 to 8,000 years ago. That's long before both Stonehenge and the Pyramids of Giza were built. It took 14 scientists to study the site with a number of different testing methods to get to the truth behind the carvings. By studying erosion patterns, analyzing the tool marks, and testing animal bones they found nearby, they determined the carvings were not only made with stone tools, but that they would have taken about two weeks to complete at the time they were left there. The area has earned the nickname the Camel Site, with the 21 surviving carvings depicting the legs, necks, and bellies of camels. Researchers also think whoever carved them came back to the same site over many generations, with the descendants of the first people to carve them repairing the images. At the time they were created, the area would have been a grassy plain with lakes instead of the desert we know today, making it an important site not only for food and water, but as a gathering place for these ancient people. Sadly, some of the rock panels had fallen and smashed before experts discovered the site, but in its glory days, the site would have been a stunning one to visit, with the carvings now seen as the world's oldest known large scale animal reliefs. Thanks for watching. Can you think of any other discoveries that rewrote history? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.